In the United States Navy, officers have various ranks. Equivalency between services is by pay grade. United States Navy commissioned officer ranks have two distinct sets of rank insignia. On dress uniform, a series of stripes similar to Commonwealth naval ranks are worn. On service khaki, working uniforms, Navy working uniform (NWU), and coveralls and special uniform situations, combat utilities, flight suits, and USMC uniforms when worn by Navy officers assigned or attached to USMC units. The rank insignia are similar to the equivalent rank in the US Army or US Air Force. Topic. Commissioned officer ranks Topic. Warrant officer ranks Topic. Rank categories In the U.S. Navy, pay grades for officers are W-1 for Warrant Officer 1 Warrant officers appointed to this grade may be done via warrant or via commission. W-2 to W-5 for Chief Warrant Officers. Chief Warrant Officers CWO2 to CWO5 are appointed via commission. O-1 to O-10. Officers appointed to these grades are done via commission. O-1 through O-4 are junior officers, ensign, lieutenant, junior grade, lieutenant, and lieutenant commander. O-5 and O-6 are senior officers, commander and captain. 07 through 010 are flag officers, rear admiral, lower half, one star, rear admiral, two star, vice admiral, three star, and admiral, four star. 011 was the temporary flag officer rank of fleet admiral, five star. It was awarded to four officers during World War II and has not been authorized since. However, the rank of fleet admiral of the United States Navy still remains listed on official rank insignia precedence charts, and if needed, this rank could be re-established at the discretion of Congress and the President. All five-star officers are, technically, unable to retire from active duty. The last living fleet admiral of the United States Navy, Chester W. Nimitz, died in 1966. <laughs> <laughs> Rank and promotion system In the event that officers demonstrate superior performance and prove themselves capable of performing at the next higher pay grade, they are given an increase in pay grade. The official term for this process is a promotion. Commissioned naval officers originate from the United States Naval Academy, the United States Merchant Marine Academy, other service academies United States Military Academy or United States Air Force Academy, Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps NROTC, Officer Candidate School OCS, the since disestablished Aviation Officer Candidate School AOCS, and a host of other commissioning programs such as the Seaman to Admiral 21. Program and the Limited Duty Officer, Chief Warrant Officer LDO, CWO, Selection Program. There are also a small number of direct commissioned officers, primarily staff corps officers in the medical, dental, nurse, chaplain and judge advocate general career fields. Commissioned officers can generally be divided into line officers and staff corps. Line officers, or officers of the line derive their name from the 18th century tactic of employing warships in a line of battle to take advantage of cannon on each side of the ship. These vessels were dubbed ships of the line and those who commanded them were likewise called line officers. Today, all United States Navy unrestricted line and restricted line officers denote their status with a star located above their rank insignia on the sleeves of their dress blue uniforms and shoulder boards of their white uniforms, metal rank insignia devices on both collar points of khaki shirts, blouses, and cloth equivalents on both collar points of blue NWUs. Officers of the Staff Corps replace the star or the left collar point on applicable shirts, blouses, with different insignias to indicate their field of specialty. Line officers can be categorized into unrestricted and restricted communities. Unrestricted line officers URL, the most visible and well-known of line officers, due to their role as the Navy's war fighting command element. They receive training in weapons systems, tactics, strategy, command and control, and are considered unrestricted because they are authorized to command combatant ships, combat aviation squadrons, air groups, air wings, and special operations units at sea, or combat aviation squadrons, air groups, air wings or special operations units deployed ashore. Restricted line officers RL concentrate on non-combat related fields, which include marine engineering, aeronautical engineering, ship maintenance, aircraft maintenance, meteorology and oceanography, naval intelligence, information technology, manpower, human resources, public affairs, and a host of other career fields. 
They are not qualified to command combat units, but can command organizations in their respective specialized career fields. In certain shipboard environments, many unrestricted line officers fill what might be considered restricted line duties, such as the officers in a ship's or submarine's engineering department. Because they maintain their general surface warfare or submarine warfare specialist duties instead of completely specializing in one career area, they maintain their unrestricted line command career path. Staff Corps officers are specialists in fields that are themselves professional careers and not exclusive to the military, for example health care, law, civil engineering and religion. There are eight Staff Corps, Medical Corps, Dental Corps, Nurse Corps, Medical Service Corps, Chaplain Corps, Navy Supply Corps, Judge Advocate General's Corps, and Civil Engineer Corps. They primarily exist to augment the line communities and are able to be assigned to both line and staff commands. One exception to this is the case of Civil Engineer Corps officers, who serve as the both Public Works Officers and Resident Officers in charge of construction at Naval Shore Installations, and as Officers for Construction Battalion units. This latter role requires them to serve in a command capacity for ground combatants when the CBs are deployed to combat areas. Note 2, see also Commodore United States, today an honorific title but not a pay grade for selected URL captains 06 in major command of multiple subordinate operational units and formerly a rank 07 note 3 the term line officer of the naval service includes line officers of both the navy and the marine corps all US marine corps officers are considered of the line including marine corps limited duty officers chief warrant officers and warrant officers regardless of grade or specialty Topic. Tombstone promotions The Act of Congress of March 4, 1925, provided for Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard officers to be promoted one grade upon retirement, if they had been specially commended for performance of duty in actual combat, known as, "...tombstone promotions". Officers who received such tombstone promotions, or also known as, "...tombstone officer." carried the loftier title but did not draw the additional retirement pay of their higher rank. The Act of Congress of February 23, 1942, enabled promotions to three- and four-star grades. Promotions were subsequently restricted to citations issued before January 1, 1947, and finally eliminated altogether effective November 1, 1959. Any officer who served honorably in a grade while on active duty receives precedence on the retirement list over any tombstone officers of the same grade, while Tombstone officers are the same grade rank among each other according to their dates of rank in their highest active duty grade. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Officer specialty devices. Navy officers serve either as a line officer or as a staff corps officer. Unrestricted line URL and restricted line RL officers wear an embroidered gold star above their rank of the Naval Service dress uniform while Staff Corps officers, and Chief Warrant officers wear unique specialty devices. The Chief Warrant officer and Staff Corps devices are also worn on the left collar of uniforms. See also Badges of the United States Navy List of United States Naval Officer Designators List of United States Navy Staff Corps Naval Officer Ranks — Comparison to other countries and explanation of NATO rank codes Navy Enlisted Classification Scrambled Egg uniform shows differences in hats Staff Military Uniforms of the United States Navy U.S. Navy Midshipman Rank Insignia can be found in the Midshipman article U.S. Navy Warrant Officer Rank Insignia can be found in the Warrant Officer United States article. United States Navy Enlisted Rate Insignia Notes Footnotes <laughs>